everybody writes buggy code. I don't care what that guy in your class who's super confident and tells you otherwise says, everybody writes buggy code. Bugs are just part of life when you're programming. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't try to write perfect bug-free code, but it's not gonna happen. Definitely not your first draft. You're gonna have bugs in there. And so as you become a more experienced programmer, you're going to wanna collect techniques that help you program more defensively and help find the bugs more quickly. So today I wanna try to help you with that a little bit by talking about assertions. So one reason the bugs can be so hard to track down is that sometimes the symptoms don't show up for a while. You could have you corrupt memory or something, and it may take quite a while before your program crashes or behaves badly. So assertions can help with this. The idea with an assertion is basically you're going to stick sanity checks throughout your code. You're gonna stick little statements that check things that you just know if everything's working right, if, if there's no bugs, that this thing should be true, this statement should be true. And, and the idea is to put these throughout your code in a number of ways so that when things start to not make sense, when things go a little crazy, that you identify it really quick. You don't wait for a seg fault or something more serious like that, which could happen minutes or hours after the actual bug occurred. You wanna to try to catch it more quickly. So for example, you might want to assert that this pointer is never null. You say it should never be null. I, I should always I should always have a valid pointer here uh, so, so we can check that. If you're writing a doubly linked list, you might check to make sure that a node's next pointer is either null or that it points to the node whose previous pointer points back to the node we're looking at. All right, so these are just sanity checks. These are things that, that just should always be true. These are things that, that tell you that your program is behaving in the way that you had in mind. That's really all you're doing. Now you notice that I'm sticking these in using the assert function and you also have to you also have to include assert.h. Now you might be thinking this is really simple why do I need a special function for this and you're and you're right. You could just roll your own assertions without too much trouble. Here's how you could do it. It's basically just an if statement that prints out an error and then exits if it's ever not true. Right? So that's that's pretty straightforward. Not a big deal. But doing that everywhere through your code is going to make things super ugly. And really, if you do it the right way, you're, e you're gonna end up with a function that looks very much like the assert function. And so why not just use the one that's built in to the C standard library? So anyway, as far as basics are concerned, this is all there is to do with assertions. Now, before we're done, I do wanna give just a few words of caution when using assert for when using assertions. The first one is don't use assertions to check user input or to check other conditions in your program. And the reason is, is that assertions, while they're very useful and they could be used to check user input, assertions can sometimes be removed. So you add all these assertions, you're adding checks all throughout your code, well, this may slow down your code a little bit. And so often people will remove the assertions in their release build. And this is actually one of the nice things about the built-in assertion functionalities in C and in Java is that you can use a compiler directive to basically say, hey, compile this without assertions. And this will make your release build a whole lot faster and this, is, this happens a lot, of, a lot of the time. So if you put code that's checking user input into an assertion, that assertion gets removed and all of a sudden you are stuck with code that doesn't work. So your release build is now broken, it's not checking user input. So really let's relax this advice to basically say, don't put anything in an assertion that's actually required for your code to run correctly. Everything you put in an assertion should be removable without any pain and suffering for your program. So that's that's my first piece of advice. The second one is, now that I've just told you that assertions could be removed, I encourage you to leave them in unless you have a reason not to do so. So sometimes people think, well, my code, I want it to be as fast as it can be, and so they wanna remove assertions. And, and if your code really does need to be super fast, then by all means, remove assertions. It's a great, great option, but often you have code that doesn't have to be blazing fast. And if you leave your assertions in, then if there's a bug that comes up that got through your testing that you haven't noticed that's maybe a little hard to reproduce, at least you're going to know which assertion failed and that may help you track down the bug later on. So if you can leave your assertions in, if you can afford the performance penalty, then I think it's a good idea. So folks, that's all there is for today. Defensive programming is great. Assertions are very useful. They're great. I hope you use them. I hope this helps you spend less time debugging and more time actually watching your code do what it's designed to do. I've put links for more documentation on this down in the description in case you want to read more about assertions. I hope that's helpful and I hope you have a great day.
If you like these videos, if, if you think they're helpful, please consider liking them. Uh, if you want to be aware when I post more videos, please subscribe. And by all means, if you think there are topics that I haven't covered, but that you'd like to see me talk about, either post a comment or find some other way to let me know. Email, Carrier Pigeon, FedEx, however you want to get a hold of me. But, but yeah, please let me know if there's, if there's a video you'd like to see show up on here, um, something you'd like to see me talk more about, and I'll see what I can do. All right, thanks. Bye.